we have learned a little about the structure of the spinal cord. By the end of this lesson, you should know the primary functions of the spinal cord. The spinal cord serves as a pathway for the transfer of information to and from the brain using nerves. That is, it receives information from the body and carries it to the brain and sends impulses to the body from the brain. If you have ever touched a hot pot, you probably removed your hand very quickly. Or even when you sneeze, these are reflex actions. Reflex actions or reflexes are involuntary responses of the body to stimuli, singular stimulus. They are transmitted by the spinal cord. Thanks to the spinal cord, we are able to move, feel, and carry out various activities. Car accidents and falls can cause spinal cord injuries. In extreme cases, people with spinal cord injuries may be unable to move on their own, so they may make use of wheelchairs. Next time you're in a car, remember to use your seatbelt. We have learned that the spinal cord serves as a pathway for the transfer of information between nerves and the brain. We have also said that the spinal cord transmits reflex actions. But there's more to learn. The components of the central nervous system, the amazing brain. We'll look at that soon. Bye, guys.